Wearing trances Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty and You like to drive, you like to drive, get down Good morning you guys, welcome back to my channel Or welcome if you're new It's Saturday morning 8 48 i'm heading out because also wait elephant in the room my hair's a little bit crazy right now because it's like really misty out because it's like cloudy and kind of rainy and i walked augie this morning so my hair was like but anyways i have an appointment this morning to go and get my tires repaired or changed i'm not really sure what i'm gonna need because long story short is i've had a slow leak in my tire since literally like i don't even know like september or something and i've just been refilling it and refilling it like ignoring the actual issue so i am going to go and do that and i brought my book with me because i don't know how long i'll be there and yeah also i don't even want to talk about my skin no, I did start new skincare though. I'll tell you guys about that later, but just want to say good morning. I'm working on my cold brew. Let's go and finally get this done. Good morning. Okay, update. I'm walking to a coffee shop that's just like a block down from the tire place because they said it's going to be like at least an hour and I could Uber home, but honestly, I'm just like, whatever. I'll go sit here, maybe I'll order like a hot tea or something because I brought my book to read and I was I was planning on just sitting there but there wasn't really anywhere to sit so I figured I would walk to this coffee shop and just sit and read. And this is like one of the things I love most about living in LA is like it's a city <laughs> so you can walk places and like just, I don't know. Like when I got my tires changed in Florida, I just sat at the tire place for like a couple hours because like, I guess there was like convenience stores and stuff within walking distance, but like for the most part, nothing was walking distance. But here, like I can just walk to the nearest coffee shop. Oh, and I'm here. That was so quick. Going to this place right here, black or no. Yeah, black campus. Okay good news so it was the tire I wasn't sure like I knew that one of my tires definitely um, had an issue but I wasn't sure if it was just one but it was and they were able to patch it up I didn't need a new tire which means it was free they did the patch up for free so I'm like god bless because I had no idea what was gonna end up happening and yeah but glad that that was the case it's like a little it's like a hang in there so <laughs> it's like your tire repair was free that gives you purpose that's like what I'm feeling right now but anyways I am now on my way to Whole Foods because I'm gonna do my Sunday reset today because tomorrow is well this weekend is the college dance competition that I used to compete at and the dance team that I used to dance at in New Hampshire are here competing. And last year I actually flew out to kind of help them because last year they needed some extra help. Um, and this year I live here. So tomorrow I'm gonna go and watch them at finals and just like watch the other schools. I love going and watching college dance. It like is nostalgic, but also like it's just so entertaining to watch. So tomorrow, that's gonna take up most of my day because it's in Anaheim, so it's, you know, not in my, it's not like in my backyard. And definitely will just take up like the majority of my day, especially with the traffic and whatnot. So we're gonna do our Sunday reset today. So I'm heading to Whole Foods now, and then I really need to go to the post office today, but are they open on Saturdays? I don't even know. But I might go later. But I am getting lunch with my friends today. I, we were supposed to do it yesterday, but plans ended up changing just because one of my friends got a 
call for a modeling gig and had to like, we had to like change our plans. So we're gonna get lunch today. Um, so before that, I think we're going around like 1.30 or two. And so before that, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. Right now it's 11 and then go home and clean. And then maybe when I leave lunch, if the post office is still open, I will go ahead and, you know, do what I need to do. And then later tonight, we're gonna go to Heels again. Me and Sophie are gonna go to Heels because we've been going every Saturday and it's really fun. So that's what we're doing. But I, as I told you guys, walked to a coffee shop while I was waiting for my car. And best use of my time because I ended up finishing my book I was reading and I had some hot mint tea. The tea wasn't very good to be honest, but I mean, it was just like hot. It was just like, you know, comforting, like warm, hot tea. It's just like <laughs> hot tea. It's just like so comforting. And it was just like a vibe to sit there, drink my tea and read my book and I finished it. So it's The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager and this author, you guys, it's like, I was reading this book and I was like, eh, like it's not that good, whatever. I felt like it was just like building up and building up and the story was slow. And then all of a sudden in the middle of the book drops this absolute bomb. And you're like, wait, what? And then you realize that like, the, the plot that was building isn't even the plot. And you're like, it's like, what? And then the last like 100 pages are like, just like actually mind blowing. And then I feel like Riley Sager's really, like this is like their thing, his thing. Like the last like 10 pages, you get thrown like one final curveball where you're just sitting there like jaw open. I was like, that is not, like the whole first half of the book is like, you think you're like on this journey of like finding out this like specific thing. I'm not gonna give anything away, but this like specific thing. And then come to find out in the middle of the book, that's actually not at all what the plot is. And it was oh, literally so good. Like as I was reading it until like today, I was like, okay, yeah, like it's a good book, but like nothing crazy. And then I, I figured out why everyone says it's such a good book. And I was like, oh my God. Like actually, I gave it five stars on Goodreads because it was genuinely like the shock of a lifetime. Riley Sager's books always do that. One of my favorite authors, if not my favorite, honestly. But just got to Whole Foods, so I'm gonna go in. I have no recipes planned for the week. Um, I think what I want to do is make like a because I've been liking to have at least one thing That's like I make in bulk so that Throughout the week like for lunches. I can just kind of like grab it and go. So I think this week. I'm gonna do like a chopped Greek salad, but it's gonna be like cucumber red onion fresh dill Or actually maybe because I do have dill like in a shaker. So we'll see um chickpeas, olives, and then like I'll add like every day, like chicken sausage or something. But besides that, I think I'm just going to uh, just do like a protein and a, and a meat. I mean, a, <laughs> that's the same thing. A protein and a veggie and a carb. Like it's super simple because well, my sister gets here on Thursday anyways. So I'm sure we'll like probably go out to eat a lot because she's here for like a week so uh yeah that's that I'm so happy that my car thing was free that's incredible news but let's go in go grocery shopping my hair has a mind of its own today I don't know what's going on with that so yeah it's also chilly like I've been chilled to the bone for hours now because I was cold the entire time I was sitting at the coffee shop. 11 11. Okay. Um, it was so cold in the coffee shop because I had the door open and I was like, ah, I was holding my cup like this to like try to stay warm. And yeah. Anyways, also my blood sugar 
was so like it's so weird I literally have the same thing every day for breakfast and randomly my blood sugar will do something completely different than what it always does so my blood sugar is super high kind of still is but YOLO okay <laughs> let's go gonna get fresh flowers too I gotta remember that because my flowers aren't doing so hot the last ones I got lasted like two full weeks but not these ones these ones need to go I figured it's been a little bit since I did a grocery haul because I don't think I've done one in like a couple weeks so I really didn't get too much I only have two bags today normally I have at least three which is a bit concerning because I'm like did I get did we get meals I guess we'll find out throughout the week but like I said really I only need stuff till Thursday so I definitely feel like this will be plenty, but no particular order. Got some bananas. I love bananas. They, once I got diagnosed with type one diabetes, I like developed this like, not even fear around them, but just sort of like aversion to them. Like, ugh, I don't feel like dealing with the carbohydrates and that, whatever. But like, every time I eat a banana, I'm like, wow. Okay, there's a couple things. Bananas and sweet potatoes. I have like adversions to them, but they're like some of my favorite foods, but my, I just like get like, ugh, but it's like, it has so many carbs, whatever. Literally just for blood sugar purposes. But every time I eat a sweet potato and every time I eat a banana, I'm like, this is like one of my favorite things in the world. Like why don't I eat this more? So long explanation is I got a couple bananas. I got these mandarins that are like almost too beautiful to eat. Like so beautiful. I got peeled garlic because I'm so sick of peeling my own garlic. <laughs> Some asparagus. Bell peppers. The All the big ones did not look very good. Most of the mini ones didn't either, but this bag looked doable. Got that. A red onion that I'm just now realizing is questionable. The onions have been so gross lately a sweet onion, a few limes, because I want to do like a spicy lime salmon this week. Japanese sweet potato, Brussels sprouts, cucumber, broccoli, cauliflower, strawberries, and these angel sweet tomatoes. Next bag, we got two bouquets of flowers. I thought these were absolutely unreal. Like so spring, so pretty, needed them. And then these, they smell so good. What are they? Oh wait, no, this is what smells so good. Are these daisies, I think? Wow, okay. Got some ground turkey. More of my favorite dessert yogurt, the strawberry unsweetened Coco June. My Who Salty Chocolate, duh. If you know me, you know I get that every week. A couple of avocados. I got this for that like Greek salad bowl thing I wanna make. It's Coco June, the same brand as this yogurt, but it's um, lemon dill dairy-free yogurt dip. I can get down with it. Oh. <laughs> got some more Sleepy Time tea. This, or not Sleepy Time tea, I guess it's just lavender and chamomile because I, I don't know, maybe stevia breaks me out and this one I've been drinking has stevia. I don't know. I like that chamomile one so regardless I'll drink it. I drink tea all the time, you guys know. Got a couple things of salmon which I'm so excited for. I haven't had salmon in like a long time for some reason. Like, because I've just been making like recipes and I feel like Whenever you make recipes, they don't really ever include salmon. Like salmon's usually like a standalone with like sides, you know? I got this fish taco seasoning mix. I'm not gonna make, make fish tacos. I wanna put this on my ground turkey. Just like honestly sounded good, so I got it. <laughs> Some chicken sausage. I did the feta and spinach one so that when I do have it with the little Greek salad bowl I'm making this week, it'll go well. I got some eggs, which there's a blue egg in here. I had to get it because I was like, this is a special box. More oat milk. Oh, I meant to get matcha. Well, I have to place an order at Erwan because I need coconut cult yogurt and Brazil nuts because Whole Foods didn't have either of those. So I will also get some matcha maybe if I can, but some oat milk because I maybe want to try to make my matcha at home. I don't know, we'll see. 
got Kalamata olives and green olives. Comment down below your favorite type of olive. I know there's like olive haters, olive lovers. I love them. Green olives are and always have been my very favorite. As a kid, I would eat them as a snack all the time. Two lemons. And then I was thinking some chicken salad would be yummy one of these days. So I got some chicken breast, like canned chicken. And then lastly, some garbanzo beans, some chickpeas. So that is everything that I got. I'm going to put this away now, put some dishes away. And then let's see, it's 12. So yeah, this is kind of perfect. I'll probably have just enough time to clean before um, I leave to get lunch in about an hour and a half. So, yay. I told you I'm the time management queen. Wedding dresses, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive and get down dirty. I got the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel like calling. That feels so good because my vacuum, I, I was like, something was wrong with it last week and I did not have the patience to fix it, but this week I figured out what was wrong and so I was able to vacuum, so it was very, very needed because I didn't get to vacuum last week, obviously, so feels good. It wasn't, it wasn't like that bad in here, it was just literally needing a vacuum so bad, so... All that is done, it's 1.12, so probably gonna head out in like 10, 15, 20 minutes and go to lunch. We're just gonna go to Great White, um, the one in West Hollywood because I didn't feel like driving all the way to Venice, so even though the Venice one is definitely better. Um, that's what we decided on doing and then I've been really wanting to try the coffee shop that's in Mad Happy, Mad Happy pop-up. Um, and I never go because I'm always like, well, I'd rather just go somewhere that I can like walk to. But I'm going to be over there. So I'm like, might as well try the coffee place while I'm like at least kind of close to it. And come home and then I'll just like take the day to read until dance later on which I'm sure by the time we finish lunch like it won't even be that far from dance and I need some energy for that because I'm tired today I don't think I mentioned but I've been up since like five because I couldn't sleep so I think Augie's pulling up the rug let's go catch him in the act what are you doing are you messing with the rug that's not good. I just wanted to straighten my little baby hairs real quick because my hair is crazy today. Just parked, I got so lucky. And actually it was funny. Literally the same car as me was pulling out right as I was driving up and I was like, blinker on immediately. Yay. So that's another little win of the day. I have two little wins today. Let's make it three. <laughs> um. But I did just drive by Great White and it looks really busy and I figured it would be. And I like kind of was thinking we should have made a reservation, but I was like, yeah, no, it's fine. Like maybe this one doesn't get as busy as the Venice one. No, it fully does. It's like very busy, but worst comes to worst, we can go somewhere else. You can I'm craving Great White so bad. I'm gonna walk over, I gotta pay the meter too. I was gonna just have great white valet in my car and then I was like, no, we're gonna put in a fight and we're gonna circle a couple of times till we find a spot. And we found one. Yum, we ended up at Earth cause like I said, the line was so, it was an hour wait and I was like, no, I'm actually not waiting that long. Nothing ever happens the way that we ever planned. No, never, our plans never, but they always, they always do something. It's not what we plan. But the, they do leave the group chat, that's good. Got the Greek salad with chicken. I'm so excited. We're waiting on Mac and Ari to get here because they decided 
They decided to walk all the way, and we don't know why. 30 minutes. 30 minute walk, but you know what? To each their own. But we're gonna eat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm gonna do a taste test. I also got this really cute lighter. Yeah. And my candles. Duh. Oh. I didn't even look before I sat. Is it good? Yeah. Is it too milky? No. Ended up getting a matcha from pantry, and it's really good. Definitely not better than community goods, even still, but. It is good, but I'm home. It's 3.50. I wanted to stop at the post office on the way home because I have to return a bracelet so that I can get it exchanged. But some, most of them were closed, and then the ones that weren't closed, or the one that wasn't closed that was close, um, I like literally couldn't find. Like My GPS like wasn't taking me to UPS, or USPS, so literally don't know also i'm like still cold i've been cold all day i was cold outside i'm like chilled to the bone but i have to leave for heels in like 30 minutes honestly and i'm trying to decide what i feel like wearing and part of me kind of wants to wear i'm wearing this set from set active that i got the other day they sent it to me and part of me wants to just put on this little cropped shirt over top. Let me see what that would look like. But then I'm like, I don't know if I can throw down in leggings, you know? Like the reason I like wearing sweatpants is because I can like, oh, that is not the vibe for heels. It looks cuter with heels on, but with the heels especially, it's giving Tate and we're doing a Tate McRae song tonight. So I'm wearing literally her merch with this little sports bra and then obviously my heels. Looks a little silly right now, but it's gonna be so slight in class. It's funny because like the clothes that like dancers wear are like kind of so mismatched and fugly, but like it works. I do need to put on a big hoodie. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> no, because guys, the way that I'm literally putting on a winter jacket with this outfit because <laughs> I know I'm gonna be cold outside, but like, I don't wanna put on pants. So, check this fit out. <laughs> like what? What's happening here? I'll be warm. So it's all that really matters, I guess. Guys, 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 guys. Guys, guess. We have a big announcement. We have a big announcement. We big, both. Big, big, big got called out in class and I'm gonna be in my first she was in it she's been in them before but it's still a huge deal but it's my first time being one of those cool dance videos they make I'm literally I said to her to Sophie I was like no I don't think you understand like when you grow up in New Hampshire like those videos of like those cool studios in LA that like film the cool dance videos and ever like they're so distant like they don't feel like real it's like this like unattainable like whatever and then like, whenever I went to the class, I was like, oh my God, like, it's so cool that I'm here. But then to get called out, like, I don't, I actually, younger me would actually be screaming. Like, I think I could cry thinking about it because it's literally crazy. Like when I tell you the hours I have spent watching those videos, like in high school, middle school, all I would do was literally sit on my phone or my iPad or whatever and watch those videos over and over again. I would learn the dances in my room. Like, literally, it was like all I did. And now I get to be in one, and I'm and so excited. Really good. Insert footage here. If the uh, professional footage is already out, I'll put it in this, but if not, I'll do the one that was recorded on my phone. I'm so excited. <laughs> Playing trances, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You like the fast life, you like to drive, get down and dirty, act like the bad guy. You want some love, you like when you feel like calling me. Some me, you got me 
Mamas, right now. Do I look like mamas? No, girl. This outfit with the bun and the long shorts and the hoodie is a little much. It's giving. Okay, depending on look at that. who's looking at it, at me, at it. Oh my god, it. Whoever's looking at me, I could either look like a contemporary dancer, yeah, or a hey mamas lesbian. No. It just depends. Dancer. Hey mama. Dancer. Hey mama. Insert improv. Insert improv here. You have bad manners. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry that you <laughs> love me. Jane, Mamanda, like it. <laughs> Having leftovers for din and some kimchi that I got from Erwan actually, but it's so good. Hi, Mr. Sir. Can we make a video? Is video star still a thing? We should make um We should it should be. Thriller. What? No. Trillers. Trillers so Do you remember that That's day in point. like in like 2021 when everyone's like TikTok's dying, go to Triller and everyone like re-downloaded Triller. We're doing karaoke <laughs> duh. You only come out at night. That's how you make some kind of thing I'll never understand. So naive. So be for fun. Play light my candle by from rent. I'm just haven't seen much today. At least the room stopped spinning anyway. What? They say that I have the best ass. But look, oh, what's it's yours? Is it true? Oh no, I'm gonna get folded to this. Yours too. <laughs> Big. <laughs> like my father's. Sorry, guys. Hey, Cut. good morning you guys. Welcome back. Oh no, it's just the next day. It's the same video. I'm going to continue vlogging into today just a little bit. I won't be able to film too, too much today because I'm going to the college dance competition to watch my old team, like I know I said yesterday, I think. Um, so yeah, I won't be able to, I won't be vlogging like too, too much because a lot of my day I have to drive about an hour over to Anaheim and then I'll be there for a few hours, an hour, but actually, Probably longer than an hour back because of traffic and yeah but anyways I still wanted to vlog I literally love going to these competitions like it's so fun all the teams are so good and it just brings me back to college dance which was such a fun time I do have to leave in like a few minutes in order to get there in time I also want to grab a either a matcha or a coffee on the way home and I mean on the way there and I can't decide if I could like stop like just at Blue Bottle on my way like close by or if I should stop somewhere closer in Anaheim but I feel like I'm going to stop closer like get something here before I head out just because I'd rather just like go straight there um, cause I remember last year the parking's just like a little bit weird and it takes a while sometimes at the convention center. And so, yeah, cause I'm going to be getting there around like probably like 1.30 and why am I eating this with a spoon? Whatever. Probably like 1.30 and then they perform at like 2.30. So I know that sounds like I have plenty of time, but then by the time I walk in and like get my ticket and everything, like whatever. But eating some leftovers, I'm still eating this um, noodleless pad thai, so good. And then I'm gonna head out, but good morning. I did end up stopping at Blue Bottle. I got an iced Americano with a splash of oat milk because I was craving espresso, I was craving ice, but I didn't really think I was craving like something super milky, like a matcha or a... Uh, or a, what do you call it? 
latte. So, I did the next best thing and got an Americano with oat milk and it's really good. You guys know I love my Americanos. I think they are the most underrated coffee. Like, they are, you have to appreciate them for what they are, but if you can do that, they're so good. <sighs> but I have a bit of a drive. But I am in a music mood today. Sometimes, like, do you know when you're, like, not really in a music mood or, like, a podcast mood or anything like that and you have to do a drive and you're like, I literally just don't, I can't. Um, luckily, I'm not in one of those moods. But I feel like I have been recently. Like, I haven't really been like, ooh, let me, like, jam out to some music. But every once in a while. And today, like, I can get down with jamming out to some music I think because I'm just so excited honestly no you know what it is I am on such a high from getting called out and dance last night and I know like maybe it sounds silly but when I tell you guys like do you know what I did on the weekends for in middle school and high school I watched the dance videos from playground LA and from millennium like that's all I would do and I would idolize every single one of those dancers and like obsess over them and learn the dances and like do them in my room and like record them and like pretend I was in those things and then like I don't know just growing up dancing on the east coast like so far from like the LA dancer scene like that it's like the the dancers that are like really well known around here are like I mean they're really well known around here but on the east coast they're like celebrities to you like you look to them like they are literally like the pope like they are like the greatest thing on earth as a dancer like growing up when you see all these crazy good dancers um and i don't know just like the studios and you're like wow like i want to be one of those videos like it's so cool and then, like, the first time I went to one of the classes, I was like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm at Playground LA. Like, this is, I've seen this on video my whole life, pretty much, and, like, dreamed of being here and, like, taking a class. I never thought it would happen. But then, getting called out and getting to be in one of the videos, I, like, can't even, like, express how, like... I feel like a little slice of my inner child was just healed in a weird way. Like it was just like truly like a lifelong dream coming true. Like genuinely. It's just like a random like, oh, that would be so awesome. Like imagine that. And then it actually happens and I'm just like, like I just, it genuinely gave me, like I finished the dance and I, I wanted to cry like of excitement because I was just like, I can't believe I just got to do that. It's like one of those things where... I don't know, it's just like a life bucket list thing checked off that I didn't really necessarily think I would ever get to check off. So that's exciting, that was awesome. So I think I'm like still kind of riding a high from that and like, I don't know, like the past few weeks, maybe a couple months, like I've just, you guys know, like really been mentally going through it. Just like a lot going on with me personally and just really struggling to find uh, purpose and like happiness of any sort and like just sort of feeling very robotic and I I'm not like I don't know it's not that I don't feel this like deep sadness but I'm also like allowed to like have a fun night and like say that I had a really great time and like be excited like that doesn't invalidate my pain and my sadness and I need to like let myself when I am feeling excitement or feeling any type of good emotion like I need to let myself feel it and not be like I don't know I like get in this like thing where I'm like yeah I'm having fun but like I'm afraid to let people see that I'm having fun in this moment because I don't want them to think that I'm like okay like overall but it's like but me enjoying a moment doesn't like invalidate how I feel like in life overall I'm just I'm allowed to have that moment and like people know like like people that are my friends and whatever like they they want me to have a good time like they know that I'm hurting and I don't have to like 
I don't know. It's because, like, I need so much... I feel like I need so much support right now from, like, friends and family and whatever. And I'm afraid that if they think I'm doing well, that I won't get as much support as I need. And I feel like I'm just, like, really needing to lean on those around me right now. But I think that I sh need to appreciate and, like, allow myself to, like, have moments where I'm like, wait, no, I am having fun. Like... I am excited and that doesn't mean that I don't you know have that pit in my stomach it's not like I don't experience the same emptiness and sadness when I get in bed at night like it's not that I don't still have that and you know hopefully I don't have that my whole life or much longer like I don't know but while I do, do still feel it like I I don't know like Yes, you know what? I had so much fun at dance last night and I was so excited when I left and I felt so happy. Did I get in bed that night and cry a little bit over like how I was also feeling? Yes, but both can be true. Like it doesn't have to be one or the other. And like right now, am I going to listen to like badass, like powerful, catchy music instead of like, I don't know, like more of my music taste, which is like Frank Ocean, Steve Lacey, whatever. Like, yeah, I'm going to listen to the, the pop, like, upbeat, like, bad bleep um, type music and, like, enjoy myself. Like, that's okay. I don't know. Just rambling at this point. Just feel like I needed to say that because I feel like other people probably feel similarly and just wanted to give you guys that reminder because I feel like I needed to give myself that reminder. But <sighs> let's get driving. Well, we already are. Just got here. That drive did not feel long at all. It's so weird, like, being close. Like, it's weird that I could just, like, like, I'm just coming here for a couple hours. Like, because for this competition, I've always, like, had to travel so much to get here. Like, when I was on the team, I was traveling from New Hampshire. And then last year, I was traveling from Florida. Like, it's just like, I'm like, whoa, why was I able to just like literally pop in? Like, why am I just popping in for a couple hours? Like, how is that real? I'm going to head in now. I saw a bunch of like cheerleaders in their little, what do you, you don't call them outfits though when it's cheerleaders, do you? You call it like uniforms? Basically this is like college dance and cheer. So there's like both. So it's so fun to watch like I love watching the cheer because it's like so foreign to me and I'm like how do you guys I like can't fathom that people can do what they do I'm gonna try to bring this it's almost gone I'm not sure if they'll let me but I'm gonna try okay Whee! I'm so excited and now taking the floor in our four-year college jazz division Southern New Hampshire University I'm out of breath. I just walked back to the car. That was so fun. I'm so glad I got to do that. I'm like tired as if I did anything. Like something about the energy in there. It's like no matter if you're dancing or not, being around a dance competition is just like so draining, but in the best way possible. And I'm so, I don't know. I just like, I'm glad that that was like part of my life and that I get to like come back and watch and whatever the girls did so good it was a little weird this time i'm gonna talk while i drive because i want to get home because i literally am hungry for dinner like it's five but like i'm literally hungry but this year for palm which is if you guys are familiar with like college dance palm's a type of dance that doesn't exist really besides wait what did i just say palm is a style of dance that Pretty much you start doing in college like i feel like it's not really ever a thing in high school and basically it's like dancing with pom-poms and it's very cheer like but they're still like dancing like it's still dance it's just you hold pom-poms so it like resembles cheer in that sense and it's very like sharp movements but it's like jazz with palms in your hands but anyways for that division they had all of the dances together meaning like the d1 teams are with the d2 teams i think that's what they were saying so it's like it's a hard when you're like a smaller school and you're up against these like massive d1 teams but the girls you know they put up their fight they put up their southern new hampshire university fight 
and they killed it. They literally are so slay and I'm so jealous. I don't know if I got any footage of their palm costumes, but they had these like gorgeous one pieces and I was like, where were those when I was on the team? I had like <laughs> year 10 hand-me-downs and they had like the cutest new like, ugh, so cute. But I just miss being on stage. But you guys, I have to tell you something. I'm not gonna say exactly what because I'm not sure if I can. And also like, I'm not sure if I'd even be, okay, let me just explain. Basically, like a couple days ago, I I saw this artist, like musician, that I like post on their story saying like LA open casting call like for Tuesday, whatever, like this upcoming Tuesday. And I love this artist and I was like, whatever, I'm in LA on Tuesday, like I'm just gonna send in pictures, like whatever. I don't have like a portfolio of like like headshots and stuff. So I just sent in like recent good pictures of me and I was just like, like whatever. I fully got it. Like I fully am gonna be going to the music video shoot and I don't know, like I've never been in a music video before so I have no idea how this is gonna go. Or if I'll even like make the cut of the music video, like I have no clue. But regardless, I'm so excited. I've never been in a music video before. That's like kind of crazy. And like for the artists it's for whenever I know I can tell you guys, I'll t tell you. But I'm like a huge fan and also we have like a, a cool thing. I, I, I don't want to say much, but we have a cool thing. And I feel like it's going to be so sick to meet this person. Assuming I'll meet them because it's their music video. But I have to do rave style clothing, which like, I think I'm the furthest thing from a raver, actually. <laughs> I would consider myself more of a grandmother, but I'm thinking I'll wear like, I have like a black skims bodysuit, so I kind of want to wear that, but it's really high cut. So, mm, I'm not totally sure. We might be doing a last minute shopping trip tomorrow. <laughs> Cause it says the more skin, the better. It also says we might be getting wet. Okay. <laughs> so I don't know what to expect, but I couldn't not like, I was like, ugh, whatever. Like, Okay, I'm just gonna send in pictures like it's not gonna hurt and now I'm like obviously I'm gonna go I am home and I actually cannot believe it it is not fully dark out at 6 p.m. that makes me so happy I mean summer's coming Mr. Augie man so happy to be out of his crate he did so good he did so good I think he's he might have to you know what but I think he's also hungry ew I'm wearing my shoes inside Augie I can take them off but just got home, gonna make some dinner. I talked to my mom on the phone while I uh, drove home for a little bit and then just listened to music the rest of the way. Glad to be home though. Today was fun. I had two fun days in a row. That's uh, so good. But. Now it's time to make dinner. I'm starving. I need to cut off my bracelet from today, but I've decided that I, although I'm craving salmon, I just want to finish my leftovers because I really didn't buy like that much protein for the week. So I really should finish the food I already have before I go and start cooking like a bunch of new food. Just to add to what I have left of this, which is like not too, too much. I'm gonna have a chicken sausage as well. Um, but I'm also gonna cook up some broccoli cauliflower and literally I put like a good amount of just garlic cloves. I got the peeled garlic and I'm just putting it right on this pan and cooking it up. I love uh, roasted garlic. Like I just love garlic. I will eat that like too much. Like pickled garlic, insane. But. I'm gonna pop these in the oven whenever those are done. 
I also got a package in from the brand Beekeepers Naturals. I tried these, these soothing, how do you say that word? Lozenges? Cough drops, essentially. And I tried these, my friend Sophie had them, and I was like, wait, these are like really good. And cough drops are hard to come by. I actually like have this thing, like I don't really, like there's a lot of cough drops that simply make me want to gag. I don't know what it is, but they're like, I like them until I don't. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I can't do the fruity ones. I don't know. I, I can't explain it, but I tried these and I was like, wait, this is really good. It just tastes like straight up honey. Like it's really good. Um, and my manager reached out to them for me and they sent me this package and I'm like freaking out because I'm so excited. Not sponsored by the way, but hopefully maybe because i genuinely am obsessed but beyond that they sent these two things they sent this daily throat spray which i'm so interested in and then this liposomal delivery immune support let me see what's going on here it says there's only four carbs in this i wonder if this would like do my blood sugar crazy. I'll try it and find out. I'll be the diabetic to test it out for you guys. But, um, cool. I love stuff like this, you guys know. And honey's so good for you. So the fact that there's honey in this, I'm like, sold. I'm sold. The daily throat spray is really interesting to me. But I'm so hungry. <laughs> I wish my food was ready in front of me right now. Ta-da. Here she is. Looks so good. I insist on trying one of these little garlic things with you guys. I love garlic. Mm. Before we end off this vlog, I want to tell you guys about the new skincare that I've been using. Only two days. Like today's gonna, today's my, today was my first, or no, second full day. Yeah, I think today was the second full day with it. So obviously I can't give any impressions as to like how it's helping my skin, but I feel like I definitely can give first impressions. So that's what we're going to do. And I'm gonna talk you guys through it as I do it. I am wearing a little bit of makeup today, but just a little, so I'm not gonna go. When I take my makeup off, I'll usually use this Glossier makeup remover, but it's fine. I don't think I need to today. Okay, so the I've been using, it's all the same brand, also not sponsored at all, I wish, um, but it's not. It's just, I did some research and I decided I wanna try this. But I'm using the brand Good Molecules, so. I'm hesitant because it's back to like a bunch of steps, whereas before I had like, very, it was very simple. But I will say overall, the past few days, my skin has felt very hydrated and calm. Like it hasn't felt super inflamed like it was, but whatever. Anyways, the very first step that I've been doing is the foaming or the acne foaming cleanser. And, I really like it. it. I really feel like I'm cleaning my skin because it does foam. I have heard that anything that foams isn't really that good for your skin, <laughs> but um, it feels really nice. Nothing, none of this has really a scent at all, which is usually a really good sign. And yeah, it's just a very, I'll show you the texture of it, but it's just like a, it's actually very sudsy, like it's very foamy. And I just do, <laughs> excuse me. I just do one pump because it gives you this much and it's a lot. Like I almost feel like I could do half a pump. Scrub my face for like a while, like like a full minute, like really scrub. And I'm making sure to like spend extra time on where I break out, which honestly <laughs> is my entire face, but like especially my cheeks, especially my chin, like I, Really want to make sure I'm shredding that up. I think you're supposed to avoid your eyes, but I totally take my eye makeup off with this. It doesn't sting or anything, so. I do still dry my face with these clean skin disposable face things. 
I don't know, you guys. I don't think that they're... No. They are not worth the money. They're also not um, sustainable, which is, like, frustrating. So I'm toying with, like, not using them anymore. Because they clearly don't make, like, a life-changing difference. But the thing I do like about them is you can see if it's still taking makeup off. That's what I like. Which I guess I could just use a white face cloth. And it would do the same. The next step I've been using is this Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Looks like this. And this is for hydration. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not an acne specialist. Like, definitely do your own research. My research includes TikTok and Google. So, like, don't take my advice. I'm literally just showing you what I use. I make sure not to put the dropper directly on my skin. But, okay, I just do two drops and then I rub that all over my face and then I try to wait like 30 seconds after applying this before I go to my next step. I'm also using this in the order that Good Molecules recommends. Like I, they give like an order of products, so I'm using it in that order. This feels really good though, like None of this is like, oh my god, that's the greatest thing I've ever felt. But almost like in a good way. Like, it, it just kind of all feels like nothing's too harsh. It feels very gentle, but in, I mean, we'll see what it does to my acne, but it does feel like very gentle skincare, and I haven't had any initial freakouts, which is a good sign, I guess, right? Next step is this BHA Clarified Gel Cream. So this is salicylic acid as well, like my face wash and Centella Asiatica, Asiatica? Centella, I've heard that, I've heard the word Centella before, but it says it helps maintain clear complexion. I did take a skin quiz on the Good Molecules website and it recommended me one other thing, which was a toner, but I got freaked out to be using like a ton of products like I just don't feel like you need everything you know so I figured I would just start with this and then decide later on if I wanted to add in the toner because I don't feel like like evenness of my skin is not my priority right now it's clearing my acne so I figured I would just focus on the acne stuff for now and I feel like you guys have probably seen this this is where I heard about the brand good molecules but this is the Wake Up Eye Gel, the Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. This is, it like has caffeine in it, I wanna say. And I love the way this feels. It makes my under eyes feel super moisturized. I just do like a little bit though. It's a small container, so. Also this stuff is compar like compared to other brands, very, very, very affordable. I was using Jan Marini and it's like $100 a product. And look at my skin. Like, I'll just use something cheaper that's going to work just as good at this point. I really thought it was clearing my skin up. Maybe my skin just got used to it. I don't know. Because for a while, I really genuinely loved it. Like, I raved about it to you guys. But I don't know what happened. My, but like, this is, like, what it looked like before I ever went on Jan Marini. So, either my skin got used to it or... It, I don't know. I really don't know. But if my skin's still going to flare up like this, I'm not using it. You know? I don't know. It's too expensive for that. And then, very last step is I use this lightweight daily moisturizer. Like, my skin has not felt dry even 1% since I've started using this stuff, and also not oily. I have combination skin, but like, probably more on the dry side, I would say, but that's what like makes it tricky because I have hormonal cystic acne. Hormonal acne and cystic acne, like I kind of have a combination of like, both and it makes it tricky because I'm not oily to the point where if I like dried everything out my acne would clear so it's hard to, to work with my acne because like I'm already dry it's like dry with acne and it's like I can't dry my skin out but then like a lot of like hydrating things break me out so I'm like need a happy medium and I kind of feel like this is gonna be the happy medium so we'll see I did also get this sheer mineral sunscreen to take with me on my trip and use i should be using it every day but i 
I'm just focusing on clearing my skin right now and I don't want to like aggravate it with SPF. So I'm going to add that in later on slash use it when I'm like out, out in the sun. But that is the new skincare that I've been doing. Um, and then just applying pimple patches where needed. I do have a few that I want to put on my skin. But again, I, all of these, I have, I broke out like, this is probably my worst breakout in a minute. It's on both sides of my face, my chin. It's pretty bad and it's the worst it's been in a minute, but um, it's only been a couple days, so like I said, it's hard to say, but I don't have any new initial like flare-ups from switching to this product, so that's a good sign to me. Also, no, I didn't have any like dryness or burning or anything when I started using any of those products, which is also a good sign. But I'm gonna leave these two alone because they've both popped. So those are just in their healing stage. I have a couple over here that definitely still have some goo to give us. This vlog's probably getting long, so I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video here. But I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Also, your comments have been so sweet on my channel. Just like very just kind and like saying that like my videos will help you with this and that or like I even had a friend um reach out to me and was like basically like I have like been lacking motivation whatever and put on your video and like it really helped and that's just like so sweet and I just can't thank you guys enough for your support like you're literally my whole world like I live my life around what videos and stuff I'm gonna put up for you guys so when I know that it's like appreciated and you guys like it, it just makes it all so worthwhile. So I just love you guys so much. And I wish I could meet you guys. Like I wish, I don't know. I wish I could have like a meet and greet. I don't know how that would work though, but I would love to do that to be able to meet more of you guys. But I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Make sure you follow me on all my social media and I'll see you guys so super soon in the next video. Good night.